Welcome to Football Forecast 91. Starring Las Vegas handicapper Dennis Tobler. With Jeff Allen. The Professor Gordon Jones. And brought to you in part by Scorephone. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Football Forecast 91, the show that each week right here on this station gives you the valuable insights and the much-needed information that you need in order to handicap college and professional games. Hi, I'm your host, Bob Elder. Well, it's about halfway in the football season. There's two ways that you can tell. Number one, baseball's finally over. The World Series concludes this week. And number two, lots of the college and the professional teams are looking ahead. Many of the college teams getting ready to accept bowl bids, and the NFL teams are looking ahead to the playoffs, which means many teams are starting to look to next year already. And that's where scouts really come in handy. And our three resident handicappers have some of the best scouts around to be able to tell you which teams are already done for 1991. Lots of television shows have handicappers, and they use scouts. They're called Mr. Heads and Mr. Tails. And they flip them quite regularly and try and come up with winners. But a man who has one of the best scouting networks around nationwide is Dennis Tobler. Dennis, welcome. <laughs> well, thank you, Bob. The TSI network certainly does have contacts all around the country that we rely on. Well, a lot of them don't, and they claim That's to have them. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> let's utilize your scouting network, and let's go right to the first game. Florida State taking on LSU. Florida State, the number one team of the nation, deservedly so, 27-and-a-half point pick. Yes, they're 27-and-a-half point favorites on the road this weekend, and just from common back knowledge, you would think that this line is far too large. However, when you get into it a little bit deeper, you'll find that it's not. As a matter of fact, Florida State beat LSU last year 42 to 3. They had no problems doing so, and LSU fields a much worse team this year. In fact, Bobby Bowden's covered six of his seven contests against LSU, and it won't be any different this week. Bowden's one of the best road coaches in the league, the most innovative man around, and he will have LSU going in circles trying to keep up with that high-powered offense of his. The actual key outside of the coaching is team speed in this matchup. They have much more team speed, and I'm talking about defensive tackles, offensive tackles, etc., than does LSU. I look for them to score 40, 50, or maybe even 60 points this week, Bob, and to run right past LSU. All right, let's go to another big game. Now, a lot of us live in Southern California, such as myself, a little disappointed in USC. They lost last week to Stanford. This week, no easy task. They go back to South Bend to take on Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish, a 13-point pick. Well, I think USC fans just may be disappointed again this weekend, Bob. You remember a few years back, or quite a few years back, <laughs> when Anthony Davis ran for all those touchdowns against Notre Dame? I remember it. Well, we might have the reverse scenario going this <laughs> week. It looks like it could be blowout time for Notre Dame. Last year, Notre Dame held USC to 29 yards rushing in 28 attempts. And with no Todd Marunovich to pass the ball for the Trojans, I think they're going to be in very deep trouble this week. Notre Dame's offense is playing very, very well, and conversely, the defense of the Trojans is very weak. Also, Lou Holtz, one of the best coaches in the country, has a chance here to showcase his team, so to speak, on national television, and I think he's going to have them sky high for this affair. It's a big interstate rivalry here. Notre Dame will pour on the points. They'll kill USC this week. I'm sorry for the Southern California <laughs> fans, but it looks like Notre Dame in an easy win. But well, what about Notre Dame? They lost two defensive linemen last, year to, last week to broken legs. Well, that doesn't matter. As I've said many times, the depth of Notre Dame, they always have the number one recruiting class in the country. This is where the depth comes in. Someone will step in and take, take charge of this situation. Also, USC's only covered three times in 10 years. I look for it to be the same this week. All right, last week, your big A game of the year hit big. Colorado defeated Oklahoma. Colorado was the underdog. They won it straight up. What have you got for us this week? Oh, that's right, Bob. Last week, we told everybody to call our office and receive our Big 8 game of the year. We released Colorado. They were the easiest kind of winners. This week, the easiest kind of winner is going to be my Pac-10 game of the year. You can receive it by calling 1-900-454-6600 right now for only $20, my Pac-10 game. All right. We'll be back with Dennis with more right now. Let's find out how to get the scores that you'll need this weekend. When you need the scores and only the scores, there's only one number to call, 1-900-420-2400. 
No commercials, no hype, no bogus claims, just the scores. 1-900-420-2400. Every game on the board, college and pro, updated every five minutes. 1-900-420-2400. Remember, for all the latest scores, 24 hours a day, the one number you need to know is 1-900-420-2400. We'll be back again with Dennis Tolba. Right now, let's take another look at that Pac-10 game of the year. Hello, football fans. I'm Las Vegas handicapper Dennis Tobler. Right here last week on Football Forecast 91, I released my Big 8 game of the year absolutely free to thousands of callers who called and received Colorado, another underdog that won straight up. This week, I'm releasing my Pac-10 game of the year, and there's only one place you can get it. That's my 900 number, 1-900-454-6600. Write this number down, another underdog winner, 1-900-454-6600. Do you need football point spread winners? When it comes to handicapping college and NFL football, nobody does it better than America's number one handicapper, David Muller. From the stadium to the strip, David Muller Sports has the information to make you a winner. Call now and receive Dave's college lock and his NFL bailout games absolutely free. Call 1-800-234-5896. Even the call is free. Call now, 1-800-234-5896. Hi, I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, and it's time for the biggest week of the season, my famous 44 weekend. Four 10-star college locks and four 10-star NFL winners. That's eight huge winners this week, and they're yours absolutely free. Call 1-800-638-3411. You know I'm on fire, and I'll prove it by giving you eight 10-star locks absolutely free. Call right now, 1-800-638-3411. Hello, football fans. I'm Dave Hammer of Dave Hammer's Hotline. You know what's important in this game. It's information. This week, I've got the information. One of my scouts has given me information so strong that I'm going to release it as my college game of the year. That's right, folks, my college game of the year. Call me at 900-976-2800. You won't get this information anywhere else. Call 900-976-2800. Only $10 a call. Be sure and call right now. Well, welcome back to Football Forecast 91. Time now to go to Dennis Tobler for two more picks. And Dennis, you have been on fire as far as colleges go. So let's stay with college. Great matchup, one I know that you love. Every year we talk about this, Colorado State and Wyoming. Wyoming, a three-point pick. Give us your observation. Well, Bob, I've been up and down that party road between Fort Collins and Laramie so many times. I do know everything that goes on between these two schools. And frankly, I guess we'll have to make this my TV pick of the year because I'm so strong on this selection this week that all the fans out there are really going to benefit. This is a good matchup here. Uh, Colorado State will try to control the ball, keep it away from Wyoming's high-powered offense. However, I don't think they'll have much luck doing so at Laramie this year. Wyoming out yarded CSU by 150 yards last year, suffered four turnovers and lost the game just like I predicted on Football Forecast 90. This year with the game at Laramie, I look for that to change around. Wyoming scored 39 points last week, was inside the 10 yard line four times and did not get a touchdown any of those four times. So you can see how high powered their offense is. I don't think the Rams will be able to stay with them. I think this is an easy blowout for the Cowboys. Dennis, you're pretty confident about this. There's got to be another reason. Well, yes, Bob, there is one more reason, and that is that CSU has to play BYU in just five days after this game on Halloween evening. So you can see they've got a lot to prepare for. That makes Wyoming even a stronger play. Before we go to the NFL game you're going to analyze today, one more time, tell us about that big Pac-10 game of the year you have. Well, everyone that called last week knows I released Colorado as my big eight game of the year, an underdog that won straight up. This week, I'm releasing my Pac-10 game of the year, another underdog that will win straight up on my 900 number. 1-900-454-6600. Call and get it right now. 1-900-454-6600. It's only $20. And that's an underdog that should win straight up. That's right. All right, let's go to the NFL. A lot of people have been waiting for this pick. In Foxborough, Massachusetts, the New England Patriots are going to host the Denver Broncos. The Broncos are a six-point pick. How do you see this one? Well, this is a real interesting matchup for one regard, Bob. Dan Reeves used to have Joe Collier, who is now the defensive coordinator for the Patriots, on his Denver Broncos squad. 
In the two Super Bowl blowouts that the Broncos suffered through, Joe Collier was the defensive coordinator. Now Reeves travels up to New England to take on Collier and vice versa. So there will be a little bad blood here, and there will be a lot of action going on. I believe both teams are going to try to run the ball. I believe that Gaston Green and Bobby Humphrey will both run the ball a lot for Denver in this matchup, and I think New England is going to run the ball to keep it away from John Elway and crew. I look for a low-scoring game here, Denver to win, but not cover the six. All right. Now, you've only given us one NFL game, but I know that you have a big secret about a good NFC matchup, your NFC Game of the Year. Yes, I do, Bob. I'm releasing my NFC Game of the Year this weekend absolutely free to everyone calling my office right now at 1-800-227-WINS. This is another underdog that will win straight up. Call now, 1-800-227-WINS, and get this game absolutely free. Well, this one I can call and get free. Last week you made me pay. Yes. <laughs> All right. When we come back in just a little while, Jeff Allen's going to join us. He's got his big games. And, of course, we've got a lot more. Right now, let's go to a man who's on fire, and that is none other than the professor, Gordon Jones. Thanks very much, Bob. Well, here we are, ninth week, moving right into the second half of the football season. This is the time at Points Plus that we really enjoy because we've got a half a year, a half a season behind us on the data. And we can say we can step right forward this week and take advantage of the black and blue division. Now, that used to be a term of positive when the Vikings were the Vikings and the Bears were the Bears. But this year, you know what black and blue basically means? It means that the teams in that division are getting bruised and clobbered by the opposition. Now, take this game this weekend. It's going to be a two-star. And I think it's very strong. The New Orleans Saints, with the defense that the Chicago Bears used to have, and the Chicago Bears may be as bad a 5-2 and two club as you can find in the NFL. There's just no comparison. As we line up the strength of these teams chronologically from first game to last, then we line it up from their best game to the worst. Then we take them off the last three games. This game comes up at least 88% for us as a strong game. The other one, how about those Dallas Cowboys actually getting points against Detroit? Look what happens to the line. Every time they go out of their division, the Washington Redskins, San Francisco 49ers, they're just too weak. Dallas, too strong. Aikman was better in college. He's better in the professionals than Mr. Pete. And it just looks like a strong Dallas victory as they come out of the strongest division in football. Well, we're 8-2 and two now over the last three weeks. Let's try to improve it and be sure to give us a call as we move right in to this very strong period of the year. Now, last week I had the opportunity right here on the line to give out our first four-star game of the week. It was a college game. We were an absolute romper. This week, a professional game that is so, so strong. It is our professional lock of the entire year. Now, you've seen us go eight and two the last two, three weeks right here on the line. We're now three and one with our two stars, but the college game was an absolute romp. The professional game, well, once again, we've lined up the entire season on these two teams. We've taken them chronologically, as we always do. We've taken them top game to bottom game, and we've come right back with the rest of the method that made me an 82% playoff picker in the pages of the Los Angeles Herald Examiner against the spread for a total of five years. Let's call right now. This is an absolutely free game. It's our professional lock of the year. You can get it at 1-800-423-2350. Hi, sports fans. Need an edge? Bill Harley's Executive Picks has a college football special this weekend. Three guaranteed winners. That's right. Call now for details. That's 1-900-773-1040. Remember, that's 1-900-773-1040. We won last week. We'll win again this week. We guarantee it. Call now, 1-900-773-1040. Just $10 a call. Just do it. Hello, football fans. I'm Las Vegas handicapper Dennis Tobler. Right here last week on Football Forecast 91, I released my Big 8 game of the year absolutely free to thousands of callers who called and received Colorado, another underdog that won straight up. This week I'm releasing my Pac-10 game of the year, and there's only one place you can get it. That's my 900 number, 1-900-454-6600. Write this number down, another underdog winner, 1-900-454-6600. Hi, sports fans. I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, and my gold club is on fire. 
We're 17 and 3 the last four weeks, and I have solid inside information on a five touchdown blowout this week. You can receive my Gold Club College Lock of the Year right now at 1 900 820 4124. If I look excited, I am because this is a guaranteed lock winner. Call right now 1 900 820 4124. Hi, I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, and it's time for the biggest week of the season my famous 44 weekend. Four 10 star college locks and four 10 star NFL winners. That's eight huge winners this week, and they're yours absolutely free. Call 1 800 638 3411. You know I'm on fire, and I'll prove it by giving you eight 10 star locks absolutely free. Call right now. 1-800-638-3411. We're back with Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen. And Jeff, you had a monster week last week, not only on your 800 service, but right here on the show, you were on fire. Let's show the viewers, go back seven days and see exactly what happened. Jerry Burns will be frowning on the sidelines because New England will upset the Vikings this week at home. The key here is Atlanta's huge win last week in San Francisco. They travel back to Atlanta, then back across country to Phoenix. There has to be a letdown here. I like the home dog Phoenix Cardinals to win it straight up at home. The Saints are giving up only nine points per game, and their defense has not allowed a touchdown in the last 16 quarters play under in this one and they don't figure to score much in this week I'm going under 44 in this one well Jeff that wasn't bad well Bob I, I wasn't perfect last week I did have the over in the Kansas City Denver game and we did miss that one by two points but if you called last weekend then you did receive my 50 star pro lock of the month San Francisco off two losses absolutely crushed the overrated Detroit Lions 35 to 3 my clients and I made a fortune last Sunday going 7-1. My 800 service is really on fire. My scouts are doing a super job relaying critical game plan information and injuries along with my real score theories that I've been telling you about. Jeff Allen Sports is on fire, and I want all viewers to take advantage of my big 44 weekend this week, four 10-star college blowouts, and four 10-star NFL winners all absolutely free. All right, let's go to the NFL this week. Now we've got Green Bay traveling down to play Tampa Bay. Both teams are one and six. Now the Buccaneers are favored by two and a half. How do you see this one? In honor of the late Pete Axhelm, I must do this Bay of Pigs game. If it wasn't for the Colts, the two Bays would be fighting for the number one draft pick next season. Green Bay is just two and five against the spread and sliding. A week ago Thursday, their offense stayed home to watch the game against the Bears as the Packers had five whole first downs. Mikowski was 3 of 16 for a whole 32 yards passing, and they stacked up a whole 132 yards of total offense. Their running game is pathetic. Through seven games this season, the Pack is averaging only 70 yards per game on the ground. That does not win in the NFL. On the other side, Tampa is a very young and upcoming club. They're 4-3 and three against the spread, and I might add, they've played a much tougher schedule than Green Bay. Their defense has been impressive. They rank 7th against the pass, and that will be the key here as the only shot the Packers have is for Magic to air it out. I expect the Tampa defense to pick off a couple of passes. The defense will hold, and Tampa Bay will win it by 10 at home. But most importantly, do you think anybody's going to show up for the game? Axhelm would have called this the classic smashed windshield game. If you were to park your car near Tampa Stadium and leave two tickets on the dashboard, someone would come by, smash your windshield, and leave four more tickets. <laughs> All kidding aside, I think there is good value in this play with Tampa Bay playing much tougher schedule, their improving defense, and the inability of the Packers to move the ball. I look for the Tampa Bays to cover their fourth straight at home. All right, let's go with Tampa Bay. Tell us again about that great 44 weekend you have coming up. We are really clicking at Jeff Allen Sports, and I love this week's action. So rather than go with one, two, or three big games this week, I'm coming with my famous 44 weekend. Four 10-star college locks and four 10-star NFL winners. Get all eight winners absolutely free. Call 1-800-638-3411. This is Crush Your Man Weekend. Eight 10 star winners, four plus four, absolutely free, but you must call today.
All right, let's go back to the desert where the Phoenix Cardinals host the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings, a two-and-a-half point pick on the road. How do you see this one, Jeff? Well, as everyone saw last week, I had New England in the upset over Minnesota. And I also gave you Phoenix as a straight-up winner over the Falcons. So I have a pretty good rhythm going here. As I mentioned last week, the Vikings are ranked 20th in the NFL on offense. Herschel Walker had another big game outdoors on grass, six carries for seven yards. Rich Gannon threw 63 passes to lead Minnesota to their 13th loss on the road in their last 15 games. Their defense is ranked 26th in the NFL, and they gave up 300 yards passing to Hugh Millen last week. The Cardinals are coming off a top effort. The rushing game was strong. They ran the ball for 170 yards, controlling the clock for 37 minutes in that win over Atlanta. I look for more of the same as Johnson and Thompson will get it going on the ground, and Tupa will have a solid day passing to Ricky Prohl and Ernie Jones. Two weeks ago, they were embarrassed in Minnesota, and I like the Cardinals to get revenge at home, take the two and a half points. Think the desert heat will be a factor? Absolutely. Last week, Atlanta had a 10 to 3 lead at halftime, then wilted in the 100 degree heat. The Cardinals practice every day in this heat, and they're used to it. The Vikings are a dome team, and I've already mentioned how poor they play on the road. Phoenix is 4 and 4, and they could still make the playoffs. Three in Minnesota is falling. I can't believe the Cardinals are an underdog here. I like them to win it straight up. Okay, Tampa Bay at home, Phoenix at home. When we come back, we're going to go with Jeff Allen and talk about his ESPN Game of the Week. And also, we're going to have the famous overs and unders. Don't forget, last week he was 67%. He's going for 100. When we come back, we'll have Jeff. Stay with us, everyone. Hi, I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, and it's time for the biggest week of the season, my famous 44 weekend. Four 10-star college locks and four 10-star NFL winners. That's eight huge winners this week, and they're yours absolutely free. Call 1-800-638-3411. You know I'm on fire, and I'll prove it by giving you eight 10-star locks absolutely free. Call right now, 1-800-638-3411. Hi, I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, the number one TV game handicapper in the country. I specialize in TV winners for you each and every week. Call my TV hotline at 1-900-903-2224, and for only $10, you'll receive with complete analysis the winner of every TV game this week. That's 1-900-903-2224. Hello, football fans. I'm Las Vegas handicapper Dennis Tobler. Right here last week on Football Forecast 91, I released my Big 8 game of the year absolutely free to thousands of callers who called and received Colorado, another underdog that won straight up. This week I'm releasing my Pac-10 game of the year, and there's only one place you can get it. That's my 900 number, 1-900-454-6600. Write this number down. Another underdog winner, 1-900-454-6600. Hi, sports fans. I'm Las Vegas handicapper Jeff Allen, and my gold club is on fire. We're 17-3 and the last four weeks, and I have solid inside information on a five-touchdown blowout this week. You can receive my gold club college lock of the year right now at 1-900-820-4124. If I look excited, I am, because this is a guaranteed lock winner. Call right now, 1-900-820-4124. We're back with the nation's number one TV handicapper, Jeff Allen. Jeff, the first half of the season on your TV game of the week, you were 6-2. and two. We're going to start the second half, and what better way with that big game on ESPN. We have got the Washington Redskins going to the Meadowlands to take on the world champion New York Giants. Games of Pick'em, how do you see it? Well, we are all in for a big treat this Sunday night because this will be a great game. Both clubs had an extra week off to prepare, and this game will go to the wire. There's been a lot of talk in the media about Jeff Hostetler at quarterback instead of Phil Simms. And there's been a lot of talk about Hanley being too conservative in his play calling. But I think it's about time for everyone to wake up and smell the coffee. There's nothing wrong with the Giants offense ranked fourth overall. The rushing game is strong and Hostetler is making great decisions. The problem is the Giants defense. The loss of defensive coordinator Bill Belichick is a major factor, and their defense is responsible for their three losses 
not the offense. They've had some injuries, and a lot of the old veterans have lost some speed. Make a note, the Giants have been outscored in the second half of every game but one this year. They just don't have that killer instinct anymore. On the other side, the Redskins are on a mission, 7-0 and and 6-1 and against the spread. Ernest Biner is having a monster season behind the huge offensive line, and that is allowing Mark Rippian to have another big season. The reason the Redskins are 7-0 and this year is because their defense is playing great. Three shutouts and ranked third in the entire NFL. The Redskins have lost six straight to New York, so you know they want revenge. This is their best team since 87, and I like them to win this game on a late field goal by Chip Lowe Miller. The Redskins by three over the New York Giants. All right, mark it down. Washington over the New York Giants. Tell us more about your red-hot 900 numbers. Well, there's no doubt. My 900 clubs are on fire. My TV hotline has won over 80% this season, and you can receive three TV winners for Saturday right now by calling one 900 903 Two 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 four. My goal club has been incredible. 17 and 3 the last 20, and I have strong inside information on a college game this week, which I am releasing as my goal club college lock of the year. This is a five touchdown winner, and you can get it right now by calling 1 900 820 4124. I love this play big. Okay, let's go to the overs and unders. Last week you were 2 and 1, 67%. Let's go 100% this week. Give us some winners. Okay, Chicago at New Orleans, we have a low total of 32. This is a revenge game for the Saints. They've gone under in six straight games, and we've made a fortune playing under with New Orleans. So let's stay with it, go under in this one. Next, Dallas at Detroit. The line is 43, and I like this one to go over. Both clubs are much improved on offense this year. Dome Stadium, this looks like a shootout play over in this one. Finally, San Diego at Seattle, the line is 38. John Freeze over 300 yards passing the last two weeks. This week he'll struggle, forcing them to run off. And Seattle gets the lead, then grinds it out, go under in this game. And don't forget, my 800 service is red hot. I have eight huge winners this weekend, absolutely free. Call 1-800-638-3411. Operators are standing by. Give me a call. The 44 Club. Not bad. All right, when we come back, I've got some more messages for you and... We're going to tell you about what's coming up next week on Football Forecast 91. Stay with us. When you need the scores and only the scores, there's only one number to call, 1-900-420-2400. No commercials, no hype, no bogus claims, just the scores, 1-900-420-2400. Every game on the board, college and pro, updated every five minutes, 1-900-420-2400. Remember, for all the latest scores, 24 hours a day, the one number you need to know is 1-900-420-2400. Hello, football fans. I'm Dave Hammer of Dave Hammer's Hotline. You know what's important in this game. It's information. This week, I've got the information. One of my scouts has given me information so strong that I'm going to release it as my college game of the year. That's right, folks, my college game of the year. Call me at 900-976-2800. You won't get this information anywhere else. Call 900-976-2800. Only $10 a call. Be sure and call right now. We're about out of time, but next week, Dennis Tober will have his football picks and the winners of the Breeders' Cup. Good night, everyone.